first top five video. What up guys, it's your boy Shaggy S U S What up guys, it's your boy Shaggy S U S here and I've been taking the transit for about three years now to school and from school and I would like to call myself a sort of expert in taking the transit. Now, if you take the transit just like me, there are probably some common problems that we see. And today I'm gonna to talk about the top five problems. Alright, so coming down at number five is the smell of the transit. Now, when I'm on the transit, I obviously, we're not expecting to get a smell from a perfume store or a flower shop, but hey, at least it can smell like the air outside. But no, 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 it does not smell like that. It smells terrible in the transit. Now, we have those common weird smell odor from weird people and it just mixes together and makes an awful smell. That's one smell I hate. There are two other smells that I can't handle, and one of them is the smell of weed. I mean, the bus smells like weed. Why? And for me, uh, personally, I've seen people at bus terminals smoking a joint, and you know what? That's illegal, man. I mean, if you wanna have fun, if you wanna have a great time, go ahead. But why are you giving it to all of us? Like there are some people who do not like that smell. And that's when public areas such as bus shelters and the transit were trying to avoid that. And yet the places where it smells like weed are those areas. Common sense, right? The second one that I hate is cigarettes. That's the worst thing ever. I hate the way cigarettes smell. It is so bad. I don't even know how people can do it. But I mean, I get it. If you want to do it, then go ahead. Like, I don't mind. But don't do it near me. I don't want to smell that. Have you ever heard of secondhand smoking? I don't like that. I don't want my lungs to get all messed up. Yeah, I need to keep my body fit and I need my lungs. I need endurance. My endurance is already bad enough. I don't want it to get worse. And you know, it smells like that on the bus. And your clothes smell like that too. I hate that. All right, so coming down at number four, Four. What is number four? All right, so coming down at number four is the bus fare. Is it just me or are the prices just increasing more and more? Like first they're like, oh, we're gonna increase it by 25 cents. Now we're gonna increase it by $2. The hell is going on here? Bus fares used to be 325 and that right now it's at 375 and they're still planning on to increase it. Now, if you wanna increase bus fares because you need the money to run the transit service, I completely get that. Okay, that's fine. But here's the thing. People also have these cards, Presto cards, and I personally have one right here. And basically, with if you get a Presto card, it's a card where you can literally just tap and pay as you can load the card with money. Now, the Presto card takes out less money compared to paying the 375. So you actually pay 275 using your Presto card. So that's a dollar less right there. On top of that, if you're a student, you get 25 cents off. So I'm paying 250 for each of my taps instead of paying 375, which is great. But I have one of those days where I forget my card or my card runs out of money. Now I have to pay the 375. I mean, at least I should get like a 50 cents off because I'm a student. Like if I have my student ID card and I could show that and be like, hey, I'm a student, so can I get a discount on this? But no, it's not happening. And they're increasing the price more and more and you know what it's irritating me it's bothering me because I usually take the transit to get around places here and if you're increasing the price that's not right like I work for minimum wage I get $11 an hour and to get to work if I pay $3.75 and I come back from work pay another $3.75 that's a good $7.50 that I'm paying did I, did I do the math right I did the math right <laughs> So if I work for an hour and I paid $7.50, then I have $3.50 left. Wow, again I did the math right. So literally I paid more than 50% of my money transit to get to work and all I'm left with is $3.50. You should have 11 Where's the logic in that? 
Alright, coming down to number three is the crowd. Now, I like I personally don't like it when the bus is crowded, but this is not something that you know you should complain. Yes, it makes sense. People are getting on the bus, they need to go to places crowded. But here's the number one thing that makes me really mad. Usually when I get from school to home, there's a huge crowd of people who are getting on the bus. But there's always this one idiot who's walking down the aisle of the bus and sees his friend and is like, Oh, I'm going to talk to my friend while I'm riding on the bus, which is cool. Oh, but there's no seat around. So I'm just going to stand there, block the rest of the bus from not letting anybody else get through and talk to my friend. You know what? A lot of people don't get on the bus because of that. Happened to me many times. The bus driver closes the door on me because the bus is full. I look at the front of the bus. Yeah, it looks full. Bus drives away as soon as you hit that person who stopped in the middle of the aisle and you look from the rest to the back of the bus, it's empty. What? I mean, everybody could have gotten on that bus. I would have gotten home early instead of waiting for the next 20 minutes to get onto the next bus. Now the second most annoying thing that happens on a bus is the social crisis. Now this does not happen very often, but when it does, it is so annoying. Like I want to punch that person and tell them to get off the bus. All right, so here's what I mean by social crisis. You get on the bus, you're sitting down, maybe listening to some music or whatever, and you're just waiting to get to your stop. Then you just hear some shouting. Hmm, what's going on? Turn around, look to your side, you see someone talking on the phone, yelling at a person. This person thinks that they're at home by themselves with nobody else around. When clearly there's like 30 other people on the bus, yet you're just shouting. Maybe she's talking to his boyfriend, maybe he's talking to his dad. And this girl literally, after 10 seconds of shouting, she says everything that happened, why are they arguing in this whole conversation? Now I literally know about her entire life. And like, it's kind of weird to tell them to shut up. They should come on. Like, I don't get why you people do that. Understand where you are and how you should speak when you're in that area. Especially when it's really quiet and no one's talking and then that person's yelling, it gets really annoying. Like, I'm putting my volume to the max, still hear her whole story. It happened to me many times. I'm on the bus one day, going home, listen to some music, and then this girl just starts talking to her dad. Dad, I'm on the bus. Dad, I'm coming home. Dad, I'm 15 minutes away. Dad, why don't you trust me? Dad, why don't you buy me this? Dad, dad, uh, what? I don't need to know about your life. Just stop yelling. And if you need to yell at him, then get off the bus, yell at him, finish, get back on the bus. And I don't think you would like that. So if you don't like that, then don't do it. Simple as that, done. guys have been waiting for number one the most annoying thing that happens on a transit for me is the bus driver now when I say the bus driver some of you guys are like yes I know what he's talking about and trust me it is the worst some of you guys are like what I don't get it why is the bus driver the main problem out of transit. Now here, let me tell you. So let's say that you have to take two buses to get to home. So I take my first bus and I'm going to my second bus stop. And then you see the bus coming by. So you're like, oh damn, there's the bus. I gotta run. So I start running. You start running, you go into that bus. The bus stops at the stop, dropping off people. You're almost there, maybe 30 steps away. Door's still open, 10 steps away. Bus driver sees you closes the door five steps away. You're at the front of the door, hitting the door to open, and the bus driver drives away. Where is the logic in that? Like, it happens to me at least twice every week. When I'm going home, I take one bus and have to run to the other bus because it's coming. Literally, I'm right there at the bus, and I'm looking at the driver, hitting the door. Driver sees me, he sees me. And I see him, see me, see him. Kevin Hart reference. I see her in the goddamn trunk. I see her, see me, see her. And but literally, like I'm being serious here. He sees me, yet he still drives away. What? 
Why? I don't get it. Like, I have to wait another good 10 minutes for the next bus to come. Does the bus driver not understand that we also have a life and we have to get to place it? Like, it's not our fault. We ran as fast as we can to get to that bus, you get to that bus, and he drives away, and you're tired, paying, you just wasted your time running. I'm not saying all bus drivers are bad. Most bus drivers are good, but there are those bus drivers that just really grind my gears, and I really hate them. All right, so that's the top five annoying things that happen on a transit. And hey, if you live somewhere else and you take a different transit rather than the Brampton Transit, it might be different for you guys. And leave a comment down below and tell me what problems you guys are going through on the transit. And hey, maybe we can relate, maybe we, we can like, you know, connect and uh, learn. So I'll learn some new things. You learned some new things today, hopefully. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. Um, this is Shaggy S.U.S. Signing off. Later. Yo, so I hope you guys liked that video. Um, first top five video I made, so hey, uh, if you guys really liked it, tell me. Give me a thumbs up. Put a comment down below. Some sort of way that I know that you, know, you like the top videos to make. So I might make a top four, top three, top ten video next time. So if you guys like that, then I'll make those videos. One final note, a big shout out to you guys, the viewers, for my last video, the music video cover that I made for Demons. If you haven't seen it already, but your support that you have shown is amazing and it's great. First cover video that we made, so you know we sound a little iffy. Um, I mean, we understand that we're kind of off here and there, and we can improve that. We didn't sing to the best of our capability. We just had to put out a music video soon because I kept saying music video covers making coming soon coming soon nothing's been happening be making more videos on that i look at all your feedback so it really means a lot to me so thank you guys so much and uh yeah i hope to catch you guys on the next video later